again, Cody is here. Today I'm flying from Riverton, Wyoming to Powell, Wyoming. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I'll be flying at a flight level of 8,000 feet. Let's reset the view, go inside and get started. Take off the parking brake and give it some thrust. Start to pull up. Go for a 15 degree climb. And I'm going to bring up the landing gear. Salt Lake Center KA-477 is type Beechcraft King Air, 2 miles northwest of Kilo Romeo, India Whiskey, 5,900 feet. Request flight following. KA-477, Salt Lake Center. Spawn 6166. Squawk 6166, KA-477. KA-477, radar contact, 2 miles west of Kilo Romeo, India Whiskey, 6,300 feet. Altimeter 30.15 Okay, I'm going to level off Roger a bit, K try to gain some speed. I remembered to bring the flaps up before taking off this time. I had been taking off for a while using the flaps. But you don't actually need to in this craft unless you're on a short runway. So, I'm getting used to Taking off without the flaps seems to be fine. Okay, we're almost at our flight level. I think we need to turn, so let's go ahead and head in the direction of our heading. So another thing I've been doing wrong is not using the rudder to steer, so I'm practicing getting used to using both the rudder and the ailerons. Okay, so we're at our flight level. I'm going to go ahead and level off and see if we can pick up some more speed. And let's go ahead and engage autopilot for altitude and navigation. Engage the yaw damper plane is going to do a better job of getting us to exactly on course than I did. I'm trying a new livery. I don't know where this one came from. It's very noticeable. Interesting looking. Looks like it's for racing maybe. But I like the change. I need to go online and see if I can find some recently created liveries for this craft. I'm not sure why they don't have the racing number on the other side. See autopilot again fine-tuning the heading. So it's a beautiful day here in Wyoming. I'm not really familiar at all with this area. Uh, 
no idea what lake that is. I don't know if that's something we can see on the VFR map or not. I'm guessing no. But it might be worth giving that a shot. Yeah, there ought to be a way to put information on here. I think there's a plugin that lets you do that. There's currently a bug. I'm on the hot patch system update 5. This thing won't go away, the uh, menu indicator. You can get it to go the way if you use the arrow keys. It'll fade out. So. And then I can reset the view and go back outside, and it won't be there anymore. I thought the bad situation with the update that made it Xbox compatible was going to make it impossible for me to keep flying, but I've managed to find workarounds to problems. It's difficult to set the flight number and tail letters, call sign, and all that, but if you keep trying, you can do it, and if you save the flight, you can check the .flt file in the text editor and see whether it saved them or not, so that's what I mean. Well, this seems like a nice smooth flight. I don't know what altitude those mountains are ahead of us. I have a feeling I'm going to need to go up above them. In fact, if you see the line there, it looks like that's going to be a problem. So I think what I'll do is set a much higher altitude of, say, 13,000 feet. And set a vertical speed. Let's see, can I do that? I can turn on vertical speed. Set it to something comfortable. Okay, so we should be climbing. Looks like we are. I think that'll give us enough time to get up over those mountains. If not, I'll increase it some more. Let's go back outside. Okay, it looks like we're actually going to be fine. I did set a higher rate of climb just in case. The mountains were closer than I thought they were, and not as high off the ground, so I think we're actually okay. I'm going to reduce the climb. I think I can level us off using vertical speed on the Logitech box. And so I guess we really want an altitude of 10,000. Looks like some snow on the ground on these mountains. 
probably a matter of how high up we are. So I'm going to switch to the drone and fly around a little bit. I think this speed control doesn't do much anymore, but I'll set it. Actually, first let me reset the drone crew. Okay. Historically, that has also reset the speed. It didn't here, so I think this control is probably not connected to anything. Okay, I hit the down arrow key. I think that's okay. I don't know if that does anything in this mode. Just trying to get rid of that menu bar indicator. I'm going to grab the Xbox controller. And we'll just take a peek at these mountains from down below. Okay, well that was kind of fun. Trying to see if I could actually find the plane. I think I confirmed that drone speed control isn't doing anything. I'm going to reset the drone view. Go back to the external view. And let's go back inside for a minute. Okay, so we need to be at 59, 52 feet at the approach. We're at 10,000 now, so it would be a good time to begin descending. I can't do the math in my head and figure out what the vertical speed should be. Something I'd like to get better at. 
but what I can do is I can set an altitude of, let's say, I don't know, 7,000 feet, and then put that into effect. Of course, the plane is dropping really quickly. We'll look outside, see if we can see the angle. So it might have been nice to set the vertical speed. Maybe I could turn that. Oops. Don't want to change the altitude, but let me change the vertical speed to something a little slower. Yeah, there we go. Five hundred. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so I've got both altitude and vertical speed autopilot control on. I think we'll cruise okay for a while at this descent rate. Hadn't checked the barometer recently, so we're a little higher than we thought. Seems like a nice weather day in this area. I always kind of like this overall view. I feel like something changed with the Xbox controller or the setup because I'm not usually able to make much, such nice smooth movements like that, so that's interesting. I'll have to see if I can figure out what's going on there. Let's go back outside. We don't have too long to go before we're going to land. I'm going to begin slowing down. Pull the throttle back to 50%. And I think we can set our target altitude a little lower, let's say 6,500.
always nice to see areas I haven't seen before. Again, this is all simulated, but it's based on real data, real photogrammetry. So it's about as close as I can get to experiencing it. Alright, so we're almost at our target altitude. In a bit I will reach out to the tower and get my pattern entry to show up. That's another thing that changed with the recent update was that that doesn't really show up the way it used to. I think what it is doing is probably more accurate, but it requires having some more familiarity with the airports and kind of knowing what you're doing as a pilot and I'm not quite there yet. I reset the view. So at this point I'm going to take over for autopilot. Usually I get some kind of a warning when I turn autopilot off, but not getting it this time, that's good. to continue to slow down just a little bit. So maybe bring the throttle down to 35%, something like that. And I don't want to go too much lower in altitude, so try to keep it leveled off if I can. I feel like we're experiencing a little bit of turbulent air, that's normal. all that when I'm on autopilot, or I'm actually flying the plane. I'm going to go back inside, get us back on course, and we're back to the right altitude. And we're going at good speed for our approach. I'm going to go ahead and reach out to them early, get that pattern showing up. I'm 
Okay, so this is KPOY, there we go. And I'm not sure which I should land on. Try that. Kilo Papa Oscar Yankee traffic KA 4772 3 miles south 6300 feet inbound to land runway 35. Alright, so it looks like our pattern entry is over there. I'll head in that direction. And I am going to dethrottle just a bit more, try to get some speed shed before we get there. Okay, I guess we're kind of low to the ground here. Didn't really realize that. I guess it was probably one of the little mountain peaks. We should be okay. Do need to gain just a little bit of altitude. I'm going to put a little bit of throttle back. Okay, the ground ground radar says we're 1,100 feet above the terrain, so that's fine. Okay, and I wanted to just nose down to be able to see where the runway is, but I'd still like to climb a little bit here. It does seem easier to fly from the inside. When I first started playing the game, I flew only from the outside, but I realized I was going to have to get used to flying from the inside if I wanted realism. Okay, so I'm kind of trading off speed and altitude here. I'm going to head up a bit more. closer to the target of 6,050 or so. All right. So, it won't be too long now. Okay, there's our pattern entry. We will need to slow down more. So I'm going to dethrottle. I've also lost some altitude again, but that's okay. I could use that to my advantage. just a little bit more thrust. I would like to try to get back to that target altitude. And I'd like to be closer at, to the 140 knots speed range. It's a little hard to see. Okay, there we go.
as I get closer, I'll put the approach flaps down. It's a little hard to tell where the actual entrance is. Climbing again. Could help to be just a bit higher to be able to see the landing pattern a little bit better. It's really kind of hard to tell where I'm going to be entering that. Approach flaps down. Push forward on the stick. Keep from nosing up too much. But we want to get slowed down. And I'm also going to turn and see if I can get a better idea of where the mouth of this pattern entry is. because we were losing quite a bit of speed. Okay, so I see where I'm supposed to enter now. It's kind of over there in the back. Take a look at it from the outside. Okay, I've gained quite a bit of altitude, but that's okay. I'll try to burn that off now a little bit to prepare for turning into the opening. Also going to pull the throttle back a bit, maybe to 40%. probably turn into it anytime I want to at this point. I would like to be going a little slower though. I'd like to be going to 140 and burn off some of this altitude. So let's go down to say 30% throttle or so. Still too fast, I'm gonna pull back some more. Alright, and I am going to begin making the turn. Oop. Okay, to be careful with the rudder. A little bit of rudder goes a long way.
Okay, so I'm going to just sort of turn into it. Not exactly the opening, but close. Like just a little bit more throttle until I actually get in there. A little concerned about being a little on the low side. Oh, I guess we are going through the actual entrance. Okay. Didn't realize I had made that possible. So again, a little bit of rudder, a little bit of aileron. Let's turn into this. Uh, pull up because we're losing altitude. I'm going to give it some more throttle. I'd like to enter between the brackets if I could. too fast. I'm going to reduce the throttle. See if I can get us down into the 120s now. More throttle reduction. We'll be competing with the descent angle at reducing speed. Okay, there we go. That's better. It's funny that the brackets are actually making shadows on the ground. uncoordinated turn feels like. Just imagine driving, taking a sharp curve that, where the road hasn't been banked and you get thrown in your seat and that's supposedly what it's supposed to feel like with an uncoordinated turn on the airplane. Now, one of those brackets is magic. I guess that probably transitions it to actually landing or something. I think we're okay at the moment, speed-wise. Might want to drop throttle just a tad and see what happens. too fast for this next area here. Okay, rudder and ailerons. Try to make this a proper turn. Alright. We're a little low and a little to the left. I need to get to the right side so I can center my visual on the runway. We're definitely Land going too fast. And we need our landing gear. Yep. And our approach flaps and some more throttle. And I'm gonna back off on the throttle now that I'm stable and descending. So 
so far this feels good. A little bumpy. Feels like we might end up being a little short of the runway. Okay, well this, this feels alright. Throttle to zero. Try to flare up just a little bit. Make it a gentle touchdown. Alright, nose down, brakes, flaps up, and brakes. Alright, here we are. Alright, this must be the taxiway. Or maybe a runway, I don't know. Can't really tell. Let's see if I go outside. Yeah, this is the taxiway. The runway's a big dirt strip, but that's fine. That worked just fine. So, let's announce that we've landed. I don't know if I can announce I'm clear of the runway, because this kind of does actually look like a runway. anywhere to pull off. I think what I'll do is I'll just pull over here to the side and we'll just park. Okay, so we are clear of the runway. Kilo Papa Oscar Yankee traffic KA477 is clear of the runway. And Kilo not sure Papa where we'll taxi Yankee to traffic exactly. KA477 is taxiing to runway one tree. Um, See if I pop into the drone. Maybe I can look around a little bit. Unfortunately, the 360 controller or the Xbox controller turned off. Want power back on. Um, let's see. Does my USB cable work? Okay, let's try that. Alright, so the question is, what's around here? Where would I taxi to? Lots of dirt strip points. Okay, I can see going back in the other direction, and... So I think I'll just stay in the dirt, and I'll just head over towards that area over there, with the little bit of pavement. put the parking brake on, so we could just keep going, I think. Or maybe I didn't put it on. Nope, I did not. Okay. Alright, so there's some kind of a dirt taxiway over here that I can take. Felt like a really nice soft landing on that dirt strip. Sorry for the plane having to roll along the ground like this, but I don't think it cares. could be chopping the weeds as far as I know. A little difficult picking up speed on the dirt taxiway.
Alright, so I'll just pull over here to the side and park, and we'll be done. Another one of these do-it-yourself airports. Okay, I'm going to park right here. Okay, so we've got the parking brake on, shut the engines down. So we're now in Powell, Wyoming. Heading towards the Seattle direction. So my goal is to get there and then head back home down the west coast. We'll complete my round the country learning to fly tour. Alright, let's shut the plane off. And didn't get the end screen again. Let's see, is there a way to trick it into doing that? I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't want to do that for some reason. Okay, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.